Hi, I'm KT Yaris Ballon Overstoles. I spoke with experts on youth violence and bullying so parents can learn how they should address this topic with their kids, teens, and youth as we're seeing more incidents involving youth fights and assaults in the Southeast Valley and even throughout the state. You want to know what's going on in your kid's life but aren't sure how to start that conversation. That's something Donna Bartos works on with Valley nonprofit Bloom365, an organization that works to prevent violence before it starts for young people. She says when these situations do occur, it's not random and adults need to recognize that. Bullying, dating violence, murder, suicide, domestic violence, homicide. There's always someone that wants to blame someone. And the blame lies in these risk factors that we're not addressing. Bartos emphasizes adults in general need to look out for these signs, things like poor coping skills, childhood trauma, and low self-esteem, and listen when teens open up. We love to give advice, right? When I was your age, this is what happened. This is what we need to do. It's a different time. But youths don't just pick up violence in the home. Executive Director for the Dion Initiative for Child Well-Being and Bullying Prevention, Brad Snyder, says violence can be supported by their peers. By what we call bystanders. All those people who are watching and taking pictures and laughing and applauding and sharing. He believes this factored into the killing of Preston Lord and says solutions need to be found on a community level. And it starts with those kids who aren't bullies who aren't victims, the majority of kids, and making sure that they know what to do, how to respond, and that they feel supported in doing so. Snyder adds even this year's turbulent political season will showcase behavior that children and teens will see and repeat. Donna Bartos explains kids need at least one adult they can trust in their lives to navigate all this, whether it's from the family, school, or another support system. If we just did this work in unison, and took the time and had the patience to get there, we would see big changes in the next decade. Ballon Overstoles, KTAR News. A KTAR News special series of reports, Youth on Edge.